Okay, I'm gonna start out by saying episode two of Interview with a Vampire. After the phantoms of our form of your former self, after the phantoms of your former self, it wasn't as action-packed or as um how would I put it as included with a lot of different things as the first episode but it was still a great episode in general so if you don't want to hear too many spoilers about the episode I advise you to leave now but the episode was a great episode and I do recommend watching it okay this starts out I would say right after the last episode, but I think um, throughout the episode, they insinuate that this episode take place over maybe, I'm just trying to see if they said a 10 year time period. Um, This episode is still with Louis trying to figure out his place in the vampiric world well not him still trying to figure out him trying to figure out his place in the vampiric world where he he learns a lot of the rules going out he sees how the sun affects him and um no. Starting to learn a lot more about the stat, and you can see in this episode the whole love hate relationship that he has with the stat, and this and his own um, anger and stuff is growing more and more with the stat. But even though his anger is growing, you can still see that. The stat still has him wrapped around his fingers. Um, he, in the modern world, he tells um, Malloy that he doesn't kill anymore. Well, at least he don't kill humans. Cause that that don't take away from the fact that he killed that dumb old animal that he had on his trail. But. The stat told him that he needs to give up on his family, needs to um, let them go, but he still wants a whole connection, a whole relationship with his family. And him being able to learn new abilities like able to read minds, he read his mom's mind, heard how she thinks about him. She can tell that he's, you know, of the homosexual persuasion as I should say it but um he could read her mind and she was commenting on the way he dressed the gl glasses he's wearing even the way he's getting his nails done even though she's not realizing he's not getting his nails done but um Yeah, and it did tell the setting of where they were in the new world, which is Dubai. They are in Dubai. Um, yeah, it showed him feeding on a person. And he also explained that he takes one human meal a week, even though it tastes like clay to him. All human food tastes like that. 
and he learned um it was a scene in the show where Lestat told him about feeding on the blood of the dead how if you feed on the blood of the dead some some way he said it will take you down into the grave with them or something like that the penance of a sated vampire and you want to always have a conveniently located graveyard nearby so <laughs> we live off the blood of the living lap up the blood of the deceased and it'll suck you right down into death along with your victim hmm. um so he's continuing to learn ways about that and how he's coming to the whole fact that um during that time the white people are using him and they look down upon him um the alderman said in one scene on the line of you're a useful negro or something like that and I can say that because I'm black, you know. But he told them that. And, and even though he's coming to a point where he says he will not be looked down upon or used by people of that nature, you can still see he's being used and he's got, um, he's wrapped around the stats fingers he mentioned that he will never be able to have a child which will lead up to you well for those who don't know I won't say what which will lead up to him and Lestat siring a child um and yeah he will sire a child which the child will be named Claudia um and my favorite scene throughout this episode, which I will include in it, was it was a scene between him, Louis and Lestat, and the singer who Lestat was so mad at because he says he disrespect the song and the creator of the song and the stat told him which was masterfully acted he said something on the lines of you are a monster Louis and it's about time you embrace it um why do you do this Lestat? well I like to do it I enjoy it well I don't you don't have to humiliate him well, I don't say that you have to enjoy it. Kill them swiftly if you have to, but do it. Embrace what you are. You are a killer, Louis. And that scene was very well acted by. By let me see, what what's the um by Sam Reed, the one who plays the stat. That was so well acted and it was very beautiful and <clears throat> and scenes like that I really want to see more um and like I said Louis is still fighting his demons he still is trying to hide the fact that he is homosexual and that plus him trying to stay in a relationship with his family and it was a scene where he was holding his sister's baby and he almost fed upon her and you can see how much it um, truly got at him but yeah and this whole thing about um him trying to 
work his way in the new vampire world and you can see how much of a master he is at it now it's just I, I really want to see how he gets to that point um I am looking forward to see the time jumps that they will have because like I say they these episodes are in the way of year wise they are slowly progressing even though this episode 2 was over a 7, 8, 10 year time period it wasn't that huge of a jump so yeah but this episode was really pretty good um it wasn't as action packed or as good as the last episode but I would say I'll give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. I really can't wait to see more of the progression of the story and see what more they're going to change from the original, the original story. They're changing a good bit, but it's not bad. It's actually good. To the uh, concepts that they're changing it's more normal it's not overdone it's not underdone it's to the right extent I think so yeah I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the next episode so until then like comment and subscribe I will see you in the next one peace